Hi, my name is Emmy Grace, and we founded Music with Grant Owens, and this is Golden Days. One, two, one, two, three, and. Grace, this is We Found New Music, and this is Known Better. One, two, three. <laughs>
Hey guys, Grant Owens here on We Found a Music Radio Show. We're joined by one of our favorite new artists, Emmy Grace, in the studio. Welcome. Hello, thanks for having me, Grant. Oh, we are thrilled to have you here. I'm glad you could make the time. Yeah. And you are rolling out new music now. Yes. And we're very excited about it. We've been champions of you. You've played a few times at the concert series. The new single is Golden Days. Yes. And it is out now. So let's dive right into it. Emmy Grace, thank you for joining us on We Found New Music. It's having me. Tell us about Golden Days. What's the song about? Uh, what does it mean to you? Yeah, I would say it's funny because I actually made this song like two years ago is when I originally wrote it. I wrote it with two of my close friends uh, just from my hometown. And I was getting ready to kind of move here but I was kind of in like an in-between space so I would say to like sum it up it's really kind of just like a coming of age song of kind of okay. just growing up and the kind of transitioning and like accepting change and like how that all felt just coming to terms with the kind of the growing up period um I think I was 18 when I wrote it so it was definitely like uh you know getting ready to become right an adult if cool. you will. so that's out right now and you have more music on the way more music on the way Exciting, incredible. Uh, so, Emmy Grace, who are you? Uh, where were you born? Talk about life before music. So, I was actually born here. Um, I grew up in a small town outside of Santa Barbara called Summerland. Um, and before music, I you know grew up playing soccer, played sports. Um, mm -hmm. I skated a lot. That was definitely a big part so of even my music influence was skateboarding and stuff like that. But honestly, music has always kind of been a part of the growing up process. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew up in a similar beach town, Laguna Beach, so I can relate to the skate and surf culture. For sure. And kind of just naturally, slowly making its way to music. You right. know, people pick up a guitar. Right. You know, right. hang right. and play by the bonfire. <laughs> right, whatever. right. Who first, which artist first inspired you to pick up a guitar? It's funny because I kind of always thought guitar, it's electric and guitar guitar in particular was really cool and I kind of just came to it on my own by my own kind of way mm -hmm. but it was if anything the artist that kind of inspired me to keep playing um, this band Coheed and Cambria huge influence for me uh, Tom Morello Van yeah. Halen um, I loved growing up watching no doubt just listening to their music and stuff um, so I'd say a collection of those bands so that's the sort of music inspired you. Any specific events that inspired you to make your own music? You know, it's hard to say. I think I kind of just was playing so much guitar that I gravitated towards producing as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was really, yeah, listening to music, but no significant event where I was like, oh, this is, I'm going to go play now and write. Mm -hmm. I think it just kind of happened. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're channeling your influences in your music? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, which is, it's always cool when that happens. Mm -hmm. So tell me about Trashy Tone Thursdays and how that's kind of been developing. How does that influence you and your songwriting as well? Yeah, so Trashy Tone Thursdays is kind of about four months ago I came up with that concept. Um, I was working with one of my close friends on a song and kind of an electronic song. And I was just like, you know what? What if I just like ripped a solo at the end? Um, and I did, and I loved it, and threw some sidechain on there, and then Trashy Tone Thursday was born. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's influenced my music because as a, every week would go by and I'd come up with a new concept, I would kind of just get more and more wild and free in my creations. And I noticed that the more I was just kind of being myself, the better response the videos were getting to. So it kind of just allowed me to kind of challenge myself to just, let out the most creativity I could mm -hmm. every week. And you drop every Thursday just kind of a cool raw video of just rocking out. And yeah. That's awesome. And it's gotten a lot of attention. Um, how do you differentiate yourself as an artist from a digital content creator? Um, I would say that if anything, I use kind of the online stuff and like the you know small platform I have to really just show people the art that I'm making and kind of just connect it all together. Um, I think that I, though I do take time to make sure everything looks nice, I think really the whole point of the videos is to just showcase the art and not as much of, you know, just me as an artist and not as much of the digital trying to reel people in and if that makes any mm -hmm, sense. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it genuine. Yeah, keep it genuine. And real and I think it, it comes across genuine yeah. and, and cool what you're doing. 
So tell me what's coming up for you. Are you going to be rolling out more music, playing more shows? Yeah, definitely lots of shows. Um, hopefully we'll be touring soon. Uh, and then definitely lots of new music that's just in the vault. That's awesome. Yeah, I know I saw you at the Troubadour. What yeah. was that like, that playing the Troubadour? the best nights of my life. It was, it was so fun. Yeah. I had the best time. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's cool to, to really get good sound and hear the intent of what you're trying to produce. Of course, I like to think we have good sound at We Found a Music as well. Yes, absolutely. Some of the funnest shows yep. have been here. Um, you have a show coming up with us. Just wanted to hit real quick. You're going to be playing a full band show November 9th, right? Yes. So come out for that. Uh, lots of new music. Very excited. We'll be playing new stuff and then got the best band behind me, too. So That's right. So i to come see them as well. Some other great people on the lineup as well, including Barb from Texas. So we're really excited for that show. We Thunder Music presents Emmy Grace on November 9th. So the music is out now. Again, the new single, Golden Days. Go stream it. Thank you yes. so much, Emmy, for joining us and taking thanks the time. Me. And we're going to be keeping your eye, an eye on you. Emmy Grace, thanks for joining me on We Thunder Music.